Hello, good viewers. You are highly welcome. Uh, in today's tutorial, today we are going to be solving this uh, math Olympiad question. Okay, so this is our uh, exponential equation. We are asked to find the value of x, uh, 3x minus 2x equals 65. So if you are just watching my video for the first time, please uh, kindly subscribe to it, my channel. Hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new content. So we are going to be uh, doing some manipulations here. I would like you to stay focused and see what you are going to do. So now I'm going to rewrite this equation in this form. That is, if I can do something like this, 3 to power, you know, we have x a. Then I want to introduce something like a difference of two squares, right? But um, this is what we are going to do. So since I have this, I can relate something like 2 over 2. If I say 2 over 2, 2 over 2 is still 1. It doesn't change anything, okay? Because x times 1 will still give us 3 to the power x. So and then we have what we have minus. The same thing, we are going to do 2. You know, we have x here. So therefore, we can have 2 divided by 2. Then equals what? Equals 65. Are you following? So now from there, the next thing we are going to do is that um, so i can rewrite this you know as we have this so we can actually because this x is going to multiply 2 over 2 but what we are going to do is that i'm going to write it in this form 3x okay then i have over 2 do you understand this 2 we multiply that is 1 over 2 multiplying by x so we're going to have x over 2 then we are left with what we are left with two here. So the same thing here. We have two x over two. Then we left with two. So what are we doing here? You can see that x over two. Then multiply by this. So everything is going to give us our uh, x back. Okay. So we have what sixty five. So the idea is that we want to bring out this square. Okay. So now from here. So we now let let three x over 2 be equals a capital a and uh, i said 2x over 2 be equals what capital b so now from there we are now going to replace this into this what equation given to us so therefore here so anywhere we see this we replace by a anywhere we see this one we replace by b so we're going to have a squared then minus then we have what b squared equals what 65 so now from here the next thing we're going to do is that uh, let us what let us have this this 65 here has just one uh five uh 13 okay and uh, 65 1 5 13 and 65 can go can divide this 65 so therefore the only one the factor we are going to pick you know here is 5 and 13 that is if you have 5 times 13 okay you are going to have 65 here so we have a squared minus b squared so now from there we rewrite this in difference of two square that says s squared minus y squared equals x minus y then x plus y right so we use it here so this is going to be a minus b okay a plus b equals 5 times what 13 so now when you look at this so now uh when you try to inspect this you can see that uh, a minus b a plus b is a minus b okay is what is less than a plus b as 5 is less than 13 therefore for we to have that so by comparison you can see that a minus b equals what equals 5 let us call this equation 1 and we said a plus b will be equals what 13 and this is equation 2 are you following so now we go further by saying 
we add this when you add these two equations together we're going to be having 2a right then this will be zero then we have 5 plus this that is going to give us what that's going to give us 18 okay i have 18 here so now here this implies that a equals 18 over what over 2 so we have what we have a to be equals what 18 divided by 2 that is what that is 9 right so we have a to be what to be 9 now if a is 9 so now we try to plug in this value of a back to the uh, second any of the equation okay to get the value of b so here now i'm going to be picking this simpler equation that is a minus b equals 5 implies that if a is 9 we have 9 minus b equals 5 so now from here we have what we have b to be equals what 4 so now we have a to be 9 and b to be what 4 so we have to recall recall that a equals 3 to power x over 2 and b equals 2 raised to power x over 2 so therefore we replace it here so when a is what is 9 this implies that 9 equals 3 to the power x over 2 so where we have we can rewrite this 9 as 3 to the power 2 equals 3x over 2 so now since the bases are the same thing so we can see that we can equate the powers that is the exponent and that's going to be x equals x over 2 so now we have what we have x to be equals 2 times 2 we have 4 so x equals 4 here so now when you do the same thing okay when you take the other side maybe you are not sure because we are only looking for the value of x so we've already gotten x to be what to be 4 but we want to know whether you are right or not by computing the second one that is b so now when b equals 2 x over 2 so therefore this implies that uh, we are going to be having b what is b b is 4 here so we have 4 to be equals 2 or number x no sorry 2 raised to power x over 2 right so now with this implies that 2 raised to power 2 that is 4 equals 2 raised to power x over 2 since the two bases are the same so we're going to have that x over 2 equals what equals 2 then we have x to be equals what 4 so can you see we have what we have the same thing so therefore our main solution here the value of x equals what equals 4 right so now to do the check to do the check you can see we go back to the equation given to us okay the equation given to us that say this is the equation we have we have what 3x minus 2s equals 65 so we plug in the value of x into the equation so we have what we have this so 3 to power 4 here 3 to power 4 minus 2 to power 4 so 3 to power 4 is 81 minus 16 then we can see that we have 65 so therefore the solution to the problem is 4 thank you so much for watching bye, -bye.